Hey, Trevor Matthews with another two minutes with Trevor. Today I want to talk about unloaders. On our 4D and 6D compressors, we'll have something called unloaders, block suction unloaders. And really what they do is they will block the suction so there's no compression happening. So 4D, for an example, you can have 100%, you unload it, it's 50%. And this is how it works. When this sole line is de-energized, that port is open right here. Here's the valve plate. It's a special valve plate, special gaskets, special head. And when it's uh, de-energized, the discharge port right here is uh, closed and you have your suction port coming in. So flowing through the special valve plate. Here you can see right here, this discharge to discharge is closed. But when this energizes, this solenoid energizes, it opens up this port here, this discharge port, and puts pressure down on this uh, plunger and closes it. Closes the suction so there's no compression. Now you're at 50% capacity. 100% capacity de-energized, 50% capacity when it's energized. When you're using it on um, a multiple compressor application, you're using something like it, need to, you need to verify and make sure that dip switches on the boards are set up correctly. I'll do another video on that later. But very important to understand that stuff. Check out AE21-1216, uh, so important. I'll put it in the link below. Read that and understand it before you start working on this. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is how it works. On a 6D compressor, always when you're looking at the pump, this right hand side here would be the block suction or digital. We'll talk about, I'll do another video on digital, but this right one would be digital. On a 6D, the top one would be the other block suction. This is always the fixed one when you're looking at the pump. That's where you wanna put the temperature probe in. If you're using a core sense or if you're using um, IDCM, and also, we have multiple uh, unloaders. Different 6Ds will have different unloaders, different models, different years, different generations. I'd love to hear comments below. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.